I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. Bourbon is known to have a rich and um, sometimes dark history, um, and that's uh, part of the appeal to it, to be honest with you. There's, uh, there's a lot of uh, nuances that, that went into uh, how this stuff even started, and there's a lot of nuances that go into how it's created and, and what's behind it even now. But the Bourbonite is about more than just this delicious drink. Um, it, it's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of culture that gets involved in uh, in this industry and, and within uh, what makes bourbon bourbon. And um, to be honest with you, what makes bourbon bourbon is a lot of hard work. And um, that's why bourbon really takes some serious commitment. Um, it's got to be in a cask for at least two years. So you really have to commit some time, energy, and resources to making this into something. Um, and, that's, and that's something that really has grown into the, or, or baked into the culture itself, is the fact that this stuff requires hard work. And the people that drink it, more often than not, are hard workers. And uh, that's, I guess, the real cultural thing that goes into what we're talking about now. Bourbon was born in Kentucky, but Kentucky's known for more than just bourbon. It's also known for coal. And um, if you've ever experienced the job of a coal miner or met a coal miner, um, you'll understand that it is uh, probably one of the most unpleasant jobs there is. Uh, it, it's uh, it's not, not a fun thing. Not something you would openly volunteer to do. Yeah, it's brutal. So to that end, to stay true to this culture, um, to the, the hardworking people that uh, make bourbon and the hardworking people that drink bourbon, um, we're going to make some bourbon stuff with our hands. So the spirit of hard work uh, comes from making things more often than not. And uh, I uh, last month had a recent trip to uh, Maker Faire in the Bay Area. Now, Maker Faire, if you've never heard of it, is uh, the uh, coined as the world's largest show and tell. Um, really, it's a place for everybody that uh, basically they make stuff to uh, bring their stuff and show it off. Um, there's plenty of people that show up there and sell their, their wares. Um, but there's plenty of people that show up just to, uh, that make things just for the sake of making it. Now, uh, this is hard work, um, I guess you could say for, uh, hard work's sake. Uh, hard work for hard work's sake, um, really comes down to, um, there's no, um, no shortcuts taken. And, uh, and really that's, that's what, uh, that's what bourbon is all about. And picked up one of these. Now this is a knibble, which is actually meant for, um, uh, cutting sheet metal. So um, we're going to make some whiskey stuff out of sheet metal. This dish is actually made out of copper. Took a uh, ball peen hammer and uh, basically made a, a hammered copper dish uh, for holding ice balls. Unnecessary, probably, but interesting, definitely. This kind of combines the, um, the the culture of hard work that goes into bourbon um, with the whole idea that uh, art is also a part of this whole thing. So that's it. With some serious effort and uh, hard work, go figure. Um, we managed to, uh, make ourselves an ice ball holder? Sure, we'll call it that. Um, so that's making stuff for bourbon. So if you like what you've seen, hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, 
because um, there's a lot more uh, stuff to be made and a lot more bourbon to be had. I'm winging it. I'm winging it hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 So good. So good. So good, Bourbon. Bourbon. I can't say that. Russians drink vodka, and that's gross. I play a Russian on TV, and I like tequila. Tequila. Da 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 da.